I have discovered I have an obsession with sniping and escape from Tarkov. Probably because I'm 34 going on 60 and my reaction times aren't what they just used to be. But today I'm gonna take you on a journey. Well, Ralph's journey as he becomes a real life sniper in Escape from Tarkov. I will walk you through the thought processes and may make the W keyers a little upset. If you've never met Ralph, this is him. Six foot three, 185 of lean, bodybuilding machine. Do I even English? His wife left him for some dude named Larry. No one even likes you, Larry, and had to start from scratch. So sit back, grab your favorite snack bar, candy bar, fruit snack. God, I love Moss fruit snacks from Costco. Just sniping with Ralph. Now cue the intro. Ah, yes, woods. If you love sniping in Tarkov or want to get good at sniping in Tarkov, this is the map to do so on. Today, the mission is quite simple. I will start to walk you through some of my thought processes and preparations for sniping in this game. Before you load into a raid, you got to choose the proper clothing, the proper gear. Now, that will vary between what level you are in Tarkov from level 1 to level 74. If you're level 74, you really need to get outside. Anyways. Sorry. What was I saying? That's right. The gear, the guns, it all gotta work to the best of your ability with the money you have too. Today I'm trying something new and I don't know how it's gonna go. This is Jack Pike LLC boonie hat. You don't see your face at all when you put this thing on. You're like, you're like blended in to the nature there. Into the grasses and the shrubs and the trees. There's no eyes. You can't see your eyes. The enemy can't see your eyes. Or sometimes when you wear the tan Ulac helmet as an example, you stick out worse than a sore thumb. Isn't that how the saying goes? Stick out like a sore thumb? Anyways, it's pretty important. Like I said in the intro, if you got a reaction time that ain't so hot like my ass, yeah, I'm using every advantage I can get. You're a W keyer and can wear tan legs and snipe by doing 360s. Hey, hats off to you. One downside of this Jack Pike LLC boonie hat, I can't put any ears on. So I'm probably going to be able to hear about 15 feet away from me. It's like 50 to 60 meters without headsets on. So I think that equals 15 feet. I don't know. I'm from America. We have, we don't do metric, unfortunately. I don't understand why. Let me know down in the comments why. Anyways, as you saw there, just threw down my backpack. That is the goal. If you're going to position yourself in a good area. Your backpack, depending on which backpack you choose, can make you really stick out. Do you have ever catch you with this backpack or this other one? We're not friends anymore. So a lot of times if I don't have an option to choose a different backpack, low on the funds, when I'm in my position, wherever I'm sniping at, I'm gonna be chilling for a few minutes to 10 to 20 minutes, throw that backpack off and make sure that backpack's hidden. A lot of people are scanning for faces. They're scanning for any kind of gear laying around. So you can huck your backpack in a bush behind a rock, something like that that will hide that away from you. Just you gotta remember where you put it, because let me tell you, I get so many backpacks back from insurance. It's it's hilarious. But we're gonna position up here for a little bit. I got a fancy dandy red flare. We'll shoot off here shortly, and maybe that will get some people to come here and see if they spot me at all, as they potentially loot the care package or even see me when they run by. We'll see, I don't know. This is not the most highly traffic spot in woods, but there are some people that come along here from time to time. So let's see if we can't snap a few heads or we're just sitting here for 30 minutes with a thumb up our, you know what? All right, the bait has been set. Now you may ask how I choose the position to sit in. First things first, I wanna find good cover usually where i have one of my sides protected by some sort of land feature or even landmines per se you just have to remember where the landmines are at i am not at fault all right not me it is a lot safer to be sniping on the edges of the map because there are areas where there's people less likely to come from compared to saying say in the middle of sawmill where 
the PMCs can come from every angle. Sure, you'll probably get a lot of opportunities to shoot at people, but if you're spotted by teams or multiple teams, if you start running away, there ain't a lot of cover for you to go from and you are a dead man walking. I say that as the airdrop is falling down, it is almost time for this. See if anyone starts coming over. Now that people know on the map, the airdrop is here. It's falling here. So if there's anyone in the vicinity, I, I'm guilty of this, I'll rush right on over. We'll see if anyone rushes on over. I just think I'm gonna sit on this rock here for a little bit. I may move to one of these bushes though. Oh, it's gonna fall behind me. I thought I shot it to where I wanted. I wanted it on the road. That's not ideal for me, but what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll crawl around because now I'm at a point where it's falling, and if there's anyone close to me, they're gonna see me. So hopefully crawling minimizes that, and I still have the element of surprise on my side. I feel like some elite warrior ninja. All right. I haven't heard any footsteps either, so I think no one has come from Yusek at all. I th think we're good. No one saw this, so yeah, I'm definitely thinking in the back of my head. I said it earlier, no headset on with the Jack Pike LLC boonie hat. Hopefully it's not gonna cost me here, kind of sitting closer. I wanted the care package to drop on the road. I thought shooting from that spot, that's where it would have been, but it's now behind me, so yeah. Next time, I'm gonna get a little bit closer uh, to the area and to the road, I should say, and just shoot the red flare there. That way, I can be on the hill, snipe downhill. That way, they could think that bolts are either coming from the woods across the road or from me. So they're kind of like, "Oh, which way do I look? I got, you know, I'm not, I'm not a perfect uh, instructor. Do as I say, not as I do, right? But wait, is that someone? Oh my gosh, that's someone. Night, night. <laughs> what? Where did he come from? I just ran a second ago. All right. Okay. <laughs> Does he have a friend? I don't. The rule in Tarkov, there's always someone else. There's always another one around, right? Well, you can see, as you can see, there's people that can be oblivious. Just like me. Maybe he didn't have a headset, but I'm not gonna worry about looting him right now, because I don't know. I feel like he has a friend somewhere. I'm gonna get back in my position here. Kinda overwatch. If his if someone died if your friend died right there, you try to flank around. There's not many spots where you can get shot from, so we'll keep, keep an eye on this field here and see if we see anybody come. But he may have been in solo too, may have been Yolo Dolo in it. Sometimes when you're running fast, you just, you know, you don't really hear things around you. After a couple minutes, they're just kind of peeking around, looking around. I've heard some gunshots at USEC camp. I've heard shots oh, basically all over. It's having a hard time pinpoint where it is. I've checked the care package a few times. I've decided to kind of go back and look towards the outskirts area. I keep carrying some pistol shots down yonder. It's hard to tell if it's scab or PMC, or if it's probably probably scabs. I wonder if massive scabs. We're gonna peek back over there. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut and sniping when you hear the shots. And hey, <laughs> what I just say? Maybe it's the 2,000 hours I have in this damn game. But here comes somebody. Here they come. Got a little Dr. Disrespect armor on. Looks like a PMC, a Mosin, an SMG. Oh, and I whiffed my shot too. I thought he was going to come more to the right there instead of running straight. And he dove right to the push. Ah. Ah, my art of element. Art element? Huh? My element of surprise is no more. I felt like that was going to be a good lead shot right there into the dome face, but. All right. Well, we'll wait here and see if he doesn't pop out somewhere. Well, after sitting in the same spot for six or seven minutes, or an hour it felt like, no one, nothing, no movement. Probably ran away. Right as I thought it was over, another team came my way.
two players right here. Oh. I whiffed the shot. Oh, he's straight. One down. All right, second guy. What? Oh, he's... This, this, this guy has no idea what's going on right now. He has no idea. <laughs> Good night. He was like circling the bush like the person that was getting that his friend got shot in was from behind or in front of him. Well, that was two kills right there. Three kills on the day. In this one little spot. I don't think these folks knew about the care package though, but neither of them could see where I was located at. I really feel like this Jack Pike LLC boonie hat is pretty solid. You're really looking for a quick glance in the the bushes, the hills, whatever, of a helmet or something. A face kind of sticking out, a face mask. This boonie, this 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 uh Yeah, it's it's good. It's real good. Especially sniping on woods. I don't think there's anyone else around. I I think that those guys are just running together. So let me chill there for a few more moments and then I don't hear anything or see anything. I'm gonna go clear those rocks over there, making sure the person I missed at earlier isn't just chilling still there. I feel like they probably just went the way back they came and I just wasn't looking that direction when that happened, but we will see. We will see. Let's see if our friend is here. Or if he skedaddled on out of here. I'm a poet, I didn't even know it. Scan down here. Oh! Oh, hey there. Yeah, still. Oh. <laughs> Moving. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. That's our fourth kill. <laughs> what? Look like the individual was positioned for someone running along the road. Did not anticipate them, or me, coming up behind him on the rocks. Oh no, he was he was looking towards me. He may have flipped around. Well, after that kill, we decided to finish our looting and get the other two fine PMCs. Sorry, I mean three PMCs. That's, oh, I can't believe I killed four people. Uh, here's the thing though. Can you find the people that you killed up? Yep, yep. Here's victim number two right here. Ooh, nice little AKM two. All right. All right. We'll, 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 we'll take some of this load here and then find the other one that I shot here. And of course in true sniping fashion on woods, I can't find the other guy. So I'm just going to go with this care package and see what this person have. I have a feeling this person up here is going to be a lower level. Just because they were, I don't know, I just, they, I'm surprised they did not hear me moving around in the woods right there, but you never know. You see, when I say about backpacks earlier, can't find my backpack either, so. Do as I say, not as I do. What do you got here? Hey, a nice AK-74U. I really am a poet. I should do some poetry and some loot too. And a TV-110 fountain rain, all right. Not too shabby. We'll loot the airdrop, too. And let's see. Is this stuff from? No, that's a full airdrop. That's... This is... This is swell. Oh, see, I don't even need a... I don't even need my backpack. I got a freaking pilgrim. I mean, I'll stand out running an extract here, but you know what? Sometimes... Just gotta make money and get the loot in there and loot and scoot, right? Alright, let's get our last victim here. This... This one, I feel like, is the Timmy. The, le the less than a level 10 right here. Feeling it? Maybe 11. Level 9. Oh, I was close. Level 9. Alright, alright. Feel kind of bad a little bit. Kind of a bully there, but you know what? He's with his friend level 12. Ah. I won't take much. Let's see if they got any good, like, loot, and then I'll skedaddle. They can have all their stuff back. I don't need their backpacks or anything else like that. And then we'll head to extract here. Uh, and we'll probably, we got the, I think Ruoff or ZB something. I would call that a very successful raid. Some good sniping there too. And just like that, four kills in our first raid. The fully decked out sniping outfit. 
I decided to go back in another time and properly shoot off a flare. And let me tell you, it was quite worth it. All right, I actually shot off this airdrop perfectly. Let's see how long it takes this time to get our victim here. Our first victim, maybe. We'll see. Nice and perfect on the road. Oh, hello there. Mr. Naked Guy. Just about naked. Line up the shot. Good night. With a little twirl and a little... Yeah. Now the one downside to killing him there on the care package is if anyone else comes along, they'll see a dead body and be alerted right away. And they may even stay away. I maybe should have let him just leave, but you know what? It goes to tell you how greedy people are, including myself. I do that all the time and I've been domed. Can't count how many times in one hand. So I stuck around, another 12 minutes passed by and soon enough, another suspected person came along. But they noticed the dead body on the care package and they took a step back. Well, it looks like he's trying to clear it. Good night. Patience. Patience, patience in your shot. Find your shot. He's walking in a nice straight line for me there. So I took the shot. Just because you see somebody doesn't mean you need to shoot at them right away. I always like to evaluate, will it give away my position? Are they moving into a spot where I will better see them hopefully? Or are they currently a threat and I do need to take the shot because they know where I'm at and they're trying to get a better position where I'm at. But I guess this individual saw the dead body there and decided to go to the left to clear it. I'm also kind of curious on woods if people don't realize they can go to the right side of this and how far back right side they can go before you hit the mines. Well, I decided to wait another 10 or so minutes. No one else came around, so it's time to go take a look at the two kills that I got. The first kill, frozen in time. What a funny animation. And this person had a nice gun. Oh, with a razor too. And a full backpack for me. As you can see already, I don't have a backpack on me. I probably already lost it. So I'm just gonna see all the loot that he brought Papa here. Ralph is gonna be making some money tonight. Moving some things around and I will take that. Thank you very much. I haven't seen anyone else really around here. So I'm gonna safely say there's probably no one else watching this care package as well. I'm gonna get down here and see what level this fine person was. All right, not the highest level, but I wonder if they're doing a, a little uh, Zero to Hero run right there. And let me tell you, not a bad care package here. We'll loot it on up, head to the extract. Well, two raids, six PMC kills, and I was never shot at. I even missed a few shots along the way too. No one ever saw me. I gotta say, I know it's a still a small sample size, but this Jack Pike LLCS boonie hat makes you very hard to see and pick out unless you see a green DVL, which in the green bush, I don't know if you really are seeing it. So there you have it. A little bit of taste of some of the sniping that Ralph likes to do in Tarkov. A lot of people say that's bush camping, not a lot of movement. All Ralph has to say, check your sectors. Let me know down in the comment section if you learned something new. Let me know some of your strategies that you have for sniping. And as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And Ralph, we'll see you soon in Tarkov. Have a wonderful day.